This is a Vikings offense that struggled earlier in the year. Minnesota was one-dimensional and Kirk Cousins had some of his worst games in a Vikings uniform. The offense found its stride later in the year. Same goes for the defense. Once a weak spot of the Vikings, the defensive unit improved in the pass rush and eased the pressure of their young defensive backcourt. Minnesota has strung together important victories to get back into the playoff conversation, but the team still has its share of sloppiness in certain phases of the game. The Buccaneers put those weak spots on display Sunday in Tampa Bay. In what was the Vikings' most important game up until this point, kicker Dan Bailey missed three field goals and one extra point, Minnesota had its usual costly turnovers and the Buccaneers took advantage of good field position to win. Final score, Buccaneers 26, Vikings 14 photo, Kim Clement USA Today Sports Keys to the Game. Photo, Kim Clement USA Today Sports Special Teams Battle lost once again, Bailey had his aforementioned missed kicks. It got to the point where Minnesota went for a two-point conversion. It should be pointed out that if Bailey hit all his kicks and the Buccaneers still scored 26, the Vikings would have lost 26-24. However, the misses gave Tampa Bay good field position, making it easier for them to score, so there's no telling what would have actually happened. Vikings commit costly penalties, Minnesota had five penalties for 71 yards, the mostly costly of which was a pass interference call on a Hail Mary that led to a made field goal for Tampa Bay. Minnesota had to play its best football to get a win in Week 14. The Vikings gave the Buccaneers too many chances and Tampa Bay put them away. Cousins faces the heat, the Vikings quarterback was pretty decent, but his offensive line was not. He was sacked six times. There were plenty of more occasions where Cousins had to evade pressure. Granted, the offensive line group suffered some injuries, but it was not a good day for them overall. Stars of the week photo, Mark Lomoglio AP photo RB Dalvin Cook, he had 102 rushing yards and a touchdown, averaging 4.6 yards per carry. Tay Irv Smith Jr., he had 63 receiving yards and a touchdown reception. FBCJ Ham, he helped lead the way for Cook on many occasions. He also had 22 receiving yards. It was over when. Photo, AP photo, Mark Lomoglio on fourth down, Buccaneers edge rusher Jason Pierre-Paul forced Kirk Cousins to fumble. Tampa Bay got the ball back with just over two minutes left in the fourth quarter, up 26-14. What's next? Photo, AP photo, Namai Hub the Vikings are back at home, going up against the NFC North rival Bears on Sunday at USC at US Bank Stadium.